Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer sent to me from the Urban Viking Ale Review. Check him out on YouTube, absolutely fantastic beer reviewer. I watch probably 99% of his videos. Um, this is something I've kept for a week or so, maybe a week, two weeks. It's Ebulum, Elderberry Black Ale. It's in a 33 milliliter bottle, 6.5% ale brew with natural flavours. There you go. Just a silver bottle cap there. Product of Scotland, but there's a big connection with Wales with this one. Uh, let's get it open. Now the connection is that oh look at the first of all let's let's concentrate on the beer shall we that is looking like a mighty fine glass of beer there pitch black you're not going to get. There's no light coming through there whatsoever. That is a completely black glass of beer. It's got that lovely tanned colour head, which I love in a beer. Always brings a lot of excitement to me. It's a one finger head. Nice streams of carbonation rising from the side of the glass. It's not bottle conditioned. Let's get the nose. Got a lot of dark roasted malts in there. Chocolate, coffee. Some dark fruits. Wonderful, I'm getting in, cheers. Thank you, Dave. Oh, yes. Now, you're getting a big, big Quite a large coffee, uh, caramel, a type of dark fudge, dark fruits, as you would expect from a normal dark beer. All coming from the dark chocolate or roasted malts. Pardon me. And then, is an undercurrent of fruit which can only be described as elderflower now the elderflower it does say on the bottle now I just want to read this out to you because um, it's quite important to I'm, I was born in I am Welsh I live in Wales so this is quite an interesting story here um, Eblem, elder, elderberry black ale Introduced to Scotland by Welsh Druids in the 9th century, Elderberry Ale was part of the Celtic Autumn Festivals where the ale was passed around the people of the village. This recipe was taken from a 16th century record of domestic drinking in the Scottish Highlands. In medieval times, elderberries were used for many purposes and are known to be high in fruit oils. It is a rich black ale with fruit aroma, soft texture, roasted grain and poured character. With a gentle finish. Maris Otter, sorry, sorry, Maris Otter, malted barley brie, elderberries, roasted oats and barley and hops, and bog myrtle. Bog myrtle. Now that's that's um that's new to me. Not heard of that one before. Okay, www.heatherale.co.uk. 
Now, my grandfather, you've probably seen him in the review, um, if not, check out Manchester Marble Brewery, Brewery's Triple, if you want to see my grandfather in one of the reviews. He always brews an elderberry or an elderflower wine. Why? Because the stuff grows everywhere in Wales. It is everywhere. You cannot go into a field, you cannot go along, along railway lines, you cannot go along major roads without seeing elderflower or elderberries growing in Wales. It is everywhere. So they're going to use it. They're going to use whatever is near to them at the time. They, were, they never used to waste a thing. Everything was used. And up until this day, people, like I just mentioned, my grandfather is still brewing elderflower and elderberry wines. So the Welsh Druids introduced this style of beer or introduced elderberry to the Scots in the 9th century, which was about... Phew, over a thousand years ago. So this is like drinking history from a glass. So second taste. And I suppose it has. For me, I th it's a lot more, I, I mean I get a lot more of the dark roasted malts, the coffee, uh, the chocolate, the caramel, all with it, all given off by the, the chocolate malt. Um, for me, it's still a very, very good dark stout or a porter. They use the word port qualities. I suppose if you really tried hard enough and thought about it hard enough, you think, yeah, maybe, maybe it is edging towards territory but at 6.5 percent ABV for me this is a nice strong fruity stout and it is nice I use the word nice it is a very very nice brew thank you David thank you very very much for this check him out youtube.com forward slash Urban Viking, I think it's urban, just Urban Viking. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but just put it in the main Google search if you like. Just put Urban Viking in there, you'll soon find him. Uh, he's a very good reviewer. As I say, I watch a lot of his reviews. The reason being because he is so um, he's so honest with, with his reviews and. He never really uses any uh, bad language, if you like. It's always it's always clean, straight to the point, and he's it, it, just a good reviewer. Just a good reviewer. Yeah. I mean, not that I don't like bad language, but there's a time and a, and a place when you're reviewing beer. I don't really feel the need, or I don't really want to listen to somebody swearing at me in a beer review. You know. That's nice. It's not too thin. It's a medium mouthfeel. Starts to coat your palate and then slightly disappears. So it's not really staying there, coating your palate. But it's not it's not thin, it's not thin by any means. It's brewed by the Williams Brothers Brewing. But it's heatherale.co.uk. Yeah, Williams Brothers Brewing. Lovely. Really good. Okay. Time for the rating. For me, the Ebulum. Elderberry Black Ale. Really old 16th century recipe. Really does hold its own in today's <coughs> brewing techniques. It really does. Thanks for finding the, the recipe. Williams Brothers. I'm bringing an old recipe 
really from the dead. Cheers to you. I'm going to give this. I'm going to give it an eight, eight and a half. I haven't got a half, but eight and a half out of ten. Yeah, it's a good beer. Very, very good beer. You can email me at realguide at googlemail.com. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realcraftbeer. And Twitter is twitter.com forward slash today. But thanks for watching. I love your comments. Put them in the comments box. I'll always answer. Subscribe if you like. And cheers.